What's up everybody, my name is Jack and you're watching Random Panda Resellers. In today's video, in a couple minutes, you're gonna see we're gonna head out to some thrift stores, just a normal thrift video, hopefully find a lot of great stuff. But first, I wanted to show you just a little bit of what I do. Basically, just a reseller live thing that I do. Today is Wednesday right now. Normally, Wednesday I'd be out thrifting and all. Yesterday was kind of crazy. Uh, so today, I am taking pictures on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll usually take around uh, probably 50 to 60 listings worth of items and then I'll just set them all up for the rest of the week. So I'm just going to show you a couple of tips on pictures that I've learned that are great and we'll just take you along. So the first item that I found is this Transformers uh, toy fear. This is from the Rise of the Beast. This is Optimus Primal. I'm just going to show you exactly how I take pictures of toys and what to look for. All right, so the first thing, as you can see, when I'm taking pictures, I make sure, obviously, take all the stickers on. You don't want to have that on there because people will be like, did you get it from the Goodwill? They'll be like, you reseller, you freak. So don't, don't have these on. So basically for toys, I take usually six to seven pictures. I'll just use my phone. I'll take pictures just like this, as you can see. I'll take it here here on the top back side and then I'll do right on the back here another thing I will take pictures of is obviously if you see damage like this one here this is still brand new sealed that's the other thing if you see all the seals are still good you take pictures of there as well just to let them know and there you go that's it and basically, I don't write any of this down. I just do it off the pictures, if you don't know. Uh, I used to. I used to write these all in a notebook. It took forever. It would take sometimes like an hour to write everything down when I was doing like 60 listings. Uh, it's just not efficient enough. So now I just do everything off my pictures on my phone. And for measurements and all, I'll show you in a sec what exactly I do. I basically have a little whiteboard. And I'll just write down all the measurements on each of these take a picture of it and there you go it'll be right on the photo and then when i'm done as i'll show you right here each item that is clothing and all will go in totes right here and then for shoes and toys and all toys will all go to storage they'll go into those shelves as you all see and then all the shoes will usually go here unless they're brand new brand new shoes also go to storage we have everything just kind of situated like that it's pretty efficient. We're usually able to find them pretty quickly. Hope you all enjoyed this little clips and tricks. Uh, same deal, I will say, with sh uh, shirts and all. Make sure the first photo is fantastic. First photo is the big deal. I've seen many people buy just off of that. I usually will have a front, back. I'll usually show the sleeve, show any uh, errors, any problems on it, show the tag, inside tag. Make sure to put as much information as you can on a picture because it can very, very much help with making great sales. So quick other thing I forgot to mention uh, with weight. Usually I also used to use an actual scale and weight the items. Now, for most part, because I would say 80 percent of the stuff that I sell is clothes. I will just based off of what it is, if it's like a t-shirt and all, I'll just put it like one pound and then I'll put it as a flat rate at six bucks because that's basically what they're going to pay. They're going to pay roughly five, four or five bucks, sometimes more. That's another thing sells, saves me pff, easy hundred, like hour when with toys, I'll just estimate like this toy that I just showed you here. I can already tell it's roughly around three, four pounds. So the shipping's going to be about 15 bucks priority, depending on where it at. That's another thing. Anything over a pound, I'll make sure to put calculated and anything under it is always flat. So just wanted to add that to it as well. That's all for my quick tips and I will see you all at the thrift stores. All right, I'm at the Goodwill and found some interesting stuff. A brand new brand I've never heard of called Cozy Earth. This is like a really heavy duty quilted bamboo uh, viscous snap t-shirt or snap pullover uh, I saw one comp go for like a hundred bucks so that's pretty awesome so for seven bucks even if I get 60 or 70 excellent deal next one is a Lululemon tea not exactly if it's men's or women's and if that's a stain or not I'll have to check probably not just might be the style yeah men's you could always tell by the square 
Looks like a little fundamental, easy 25 bucks. Next one is a really cool Panhandle Slim. It's brand new. It's a women's like rodeo shirt or pearl snap. Normally I wouldn't get Panhandle Slim, but it's brand new and it's a rodeo shirt, which should go for 35, 40 bucks. So not too bad. And then I found this. This is something you all don't see me get very much. It's a little maxi rub massager. It weighs probably 10 pounds. <laughs> Uh, comp's going for about 40 bucks or so, so not too bad. I'll definitely have to test it here and just put a little plug and see how it works. All right, found a couple more things to show you all real quick. Great brand to look for, Smart Wolf. It's definitely needs uh, a little bit of fixing up. It's very pilly. Get all those, uh, all that pilling off should be a $30, $40 sweater. This next brand is a brand new brand I've never heard of called Kettle Mountain. As you see, it's just a little hoodie t-shirt. Definitely look out for them. This is worth like 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. There's like three or four on and 10 sold. So definitely a new brand and sells excellent. And I think I had one other thing. Yep, as you all know, Alley Miles. And it's got some staining on the collar mainly. It might come out, but eh, I might pass on that. Definitely look out for it though. It's gonna be worth a lot of money. All right, we're at our first good or next Goodwill, I should say, and found some interesting stuff. First up, these are Lululemon, I believe the Commission. Definitely a little bit worn, but for five bucks, should sell at least 20, 25. This next one is really interesting. This is uh, Cabela's Instinct or Instincts. Just a big old puffer coat, like a uh, hunting one. Comps are all over the place, probably easy 40, 50 bucks for eight, not too bad, and it's the perfect time of year being hunting season. And then some Patagonia definitely needs to be cleaned up. This is a real nice Nike. These are each three bucks, which is a pretty awesome deal. AW84, probably 20 bucks or so. And then a nice Ariat belt. If y'all can see that, three bucks. Not bad, we'll keep looking through and see if we find anything else. Oh, I also had this too. This is a nice Young Law hat. Three bucks. Should sell for probably 15 bucks. Not too bad. All right, I think I might have found the find of the day. It is this vintage Eddie Bauer. As you see, it's wool, uh, viscous. Definitely vintage, I believe, or close to it. It's in decently good shape too. You see it, it's all like the outer part is kind of this wool polyester fleece kind of deal. I'll show you the back. I uh, couldn't really find an exact comp. Probably 60, 70 bucks. It's $12. Probably take a chance since it is coming winter. Should sell really quickly. I also ended up finding several other really good items. This is a Graham Lux quarters up and it's brand new as you can see six bucks I'll show a comp for how much it's worth probably 30 40 bucks found this brand new Bobby Jones performance collection brand new as you see there also six bucks and a great size 2XL this is brand new 1764 usually I wouldn't get this because they only sell for about 20 bucks but brand new easy 30 I would think at least and they usually sell really quickly so that's pretty awesome and then here's another one these are 1764 shorts brand new at least 25 30 bucks found some oh, John Mark very elaborate crazy looking that's always good this is a brand called salvage it's another buckle brand I'm try out their jeans and see they were looking like they were selling about the same as uh, Big Star and Affliction and all so not too bad for that and then I think I had one other thing this men's Lululemon just a little I presume it's a metal vent t-shirt definitely got some pilling I'll have to fix that up but should be an easy 25 30 bucks so not bad might hit one more spot probably one more store and I will see you all there 
Alright, as you all saw, ended up finding some pretty good stuff there. I did, ended up not going to another thrift store because I just ended up getting kind of busy. If you don't know though, we ended up buying out a whole bunch of like baseball cards, Pokemon cards, and all types of stuff. So stay tuned for that if you all could see just a quick glimpse of some of the stuff we have over there. <laughs> it's just insane. So stay tuned out for that video. That'll probably be coming out next week at some point. There might be a, like a part one, part two. My dad and I are going to go through it and uh, hopefully find some fantastic items there. And if you all like this video, definitely hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks.